Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I want to show you how to transition from using folders to using metadata in a SharePoint library. And you may have heard somebody tell you that you should be doing this, but I want to demonstrate exactly how easy and also how flexible this is. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of PDFs and Word files inside of uh, a library and I have specifically not put any folders in here and now what I'm going to do is begin to figure out what types of things people might be looking for and what might be interesting to them what might be useful to their navigation for instance if I look through this I can see that some of these documents are 2016 and 2017 documents they're probably looking for the 2018 documents and maybe I want to keep the 2016 and 17 documents in here for reference right um, but we need to note that those are archived for you know for reference but they're not the current year's materials so what you could easily do right here on the right is click the little plus sign add in a column that tells us whether something is archived information or whether it's active. Now, do not choose single line of text for this because single line of text means that anybody can type anything they want into this column. I want to go multiple choice so that you're always picking one of the items that I'm expecting. So I go to multiple choice here. I put in your multiple choice options for whether it's archive, let's say it's um, active documents right that'll be the name of the column it'll be a multiple choice and the two choices will be is it active or is it archived do not allow people to add va values manually and then click save and now there's a column right here and I can easily go up here to my quick edit button up at the top of the screen. I can see all of these documents and I can quickly see 2016 is an archive file, 2016 is an archive, 2016 archive. And you could also do this batched. We'll show that in a second here. So now watch what you get out of this. If I go up here to active documents, I can click on the little drop down menu and tell it that I want to filter this by active documents. I want to show only the active documents and click apply. And I know that the archived ones are there, but I don't have to bother with them right now. And again, I go back to the drop down menu, I clear the filters and I get all those documents back. So one way to manage this is to quickly filter down by the type of document that you're interested in. Let's take another look here. So I will hit the little plus sign and choose choice and I'll put in here type of document. And the type of document will be a description plan summary, a prospectus, or a results document. Click Save. Now let's take a look at how we would do this in a batch way. So this is a description, this is a description, this is a description. So I click those radio buttons right there. Over here on the right, I can click on the information bubble to open up the details pane. And I can hit the drop down menu here for type of document and I can say that this is a description and save it. So I've just batch processed these. I can then select all of the plan summaries. add in that they're plan summaries and save. And then once it's saved properly, close the selected items. And then come down here and grab the prospectuses, prospecti, prospecto, prospecti, I don't know. Hit the drop down menu, tell you that they're prospectuses and hit save. And again, deselect the items. So now I have assigned a lot of this metadata to the documents that are in here. Watch as I go to the type of document drop down menu and tell it to group this by the type of document. Instantly I can say, find me all of the 
prospectuses, find me all of the plan summaries, or find me all the descriptions, for example. And then I can go to the active documents and filter it by whether something is active or archived. And there it is. I now have all of the active prospectuses, all the active plan summaries right there in front of me organized properly. And the beautiful thing is that when it's no longer this type of document I'm interested in, I can quickly and easily ungroup by type of document. I can quickly and easily unfilter by whether it's an active document or an archive document. And I can get back to whatever type of document, whatever purpose I have in mind. I can group this together by who modified the document. I can group it together by what it says in the name, etc.